What's up everybody, Raul back again with another Ruckus Vlog and today we are going to tackle a lot more stuff today. We're going to start wrapping this bike up uh, so I can start preparing to start putting the motor in but everything is pretty much assembled here. So we got the levers, we got the splitter, the side steps, the tanks installed, the wire harness is already fished through the frame, it's all wire tucked. I am now working on putting on the banjo, the brake line, we're going to be doing the throttle and grip, put the axle through just for now because I still need the hub, then we'll install the caliper and the adapter, and then we're going to put the shocks on, so that's what we're going to take care of today, and then we'll see what else we, we get done today. Maybe possibly put the battery box back on temporarily and then go from there. So let me get started and let's finish her up. All right, everybody, just a quick observation here really quick. I want to show you something. So if you see this lever here, this is the stock lever compared to the new NCY levers, how much thicker they are. They have a lot more nicer grip. And the other thing here is there's like... Um, bearings in here so you get that smooth adjustment I don't know if you can see that not my daughter's but you can see <laughs> the bearings right there you see that nice so that's gonna make for a nice smooth acceleration so that's it just want to show you the difference there because you don't see this much on the internet so yeah that's it Okay, testing the bead blaster at 100 psi on the doggy's toy. Ready? Ah! Oh, that scared me. God, it scared me. Let's go on. Yeah. That's gonna work. Cool? That killed yeah. me. Peace. That killed me. Too excited there. Okay. Twenty eight right there. So I'm not going to mess with this because they said if it doesn't bead after thirty psi. Just wait because it gets dangerous. So I'd rather be safe because some people go way too high with the PSI. And I'm not cool with that. Or we'll monitor this and get back to it, but it looks like it's popping in more, so I say that's a plus right there. That's good. What's up, everybody? Row back. I want to show you guys something. 
check this out. Ooh, it's a little dark. Almost forgot to show you the progress, but here we go. The whole front end's on, the dress up kit, levers are installed. Look at that. All the cables are on. Everything's pretty much attached except for down here. Got the shocks on, axles are in, frame covers on for the wire tuck. The back's off so I could start doing the cleaning up of the bike. Look at that. Looks sick. I love it. All right, everybody. That's about going to wrap it up for the day. Today was uh, pretty much uh, on and off process. Also have the engine painted. That's another thing I got done today. Wrinkle finish. Looking good. Perfect. Started pulling off some of the masking tape already. Got the rim sitting over here. So yeah. Let me see. Let me move this mic around first. Let me pop on the lights here. Wire tuck makes a big difference also. The only thing I need to do is get another washer for here to match these. Well, that's it everybody. Next thing is to pretty much put the cover in put the mounts on, well shave, put the mounts on, install the motor, slap the wheels on, and crank it over. So we're really close everybody. We're really close. <sighs> it just feels good to know that the way I pictured this bike, it's coming out how I want it and it looks really good. So I just want to say for all of you that are watching this video either now or later in the future, thank you. Hit me a, give me a like, subscribe. Be careful subscribing because I do put a lot of different content on this channel. So just a heads up. But I'll see you on the next one. Stay tuned. More content coming out and more progress on the ruckus. Peace. Stay tuned. Nailed it. What's up, everybody? Raul back with it.